wondering whether or not these mushrooms could be the answer to an environmentally friendly oil cleanup. An experiment to use the oil eating fungus instead of disposing of the oil collected in the cleanup is pending approval from the state and city officials. Crown Forest Kate Thompson was there when the idea was brought up oil eating mushrooms. It may sound like science fiction, but they're real. And that's what volunteers and some environmentalists would like to use to help get rid of some of the oil that's been collected on beaches during the past few weeks. These are pictures of oyster mushrooms, which can be used to break down oil that's collected on mats like these, which are made of human hair. So here is how the oil would become non-toxic. Volunteers would take oil-covered hair mats like these and layer them similar to a lasagna. They would be stacking them with the hair mat, then the fungus, and then straw. And they would keep layering and layering and layering all of the hair mats. And it's going to make a compost heap, and within 12 weeks, it'll be detoxic, uh, detoxic and it'll be non-toxic, uh, landscape-grade compost. Hundreds of hair mats have been used during the past few weeks because they're so absorbent to help clean up the oil spill. Now volunteers and the city are trying to get the dirty mats back from the company in charge of the spill cleanup so they can try this fungus-eating oil experiment. I think San Francisco is going to revolutionize oil spill cleanup. The Presidio Trust has donated space to conduct the fungus experiment, which is currently scheduled to happen on Tuesday. Reporting from San Francisco, Kate Thompson, Cron 4 News.